Coming up on today's FNN, how students are using their art skills to help pay for college. Plus, students get a blast from the past. And we check in with some of our spring sports teams. Stay tuned for all that and more because FNN starts now. Happy Friday, Falcons. I'm Kylie Williams. And I'm Denia Cartwright. We're back for our final few weeks of episodes before graduation. College funding is something many of our graduating seniors stress about. Even after earning scholarships, some students may still have trouble paying for everything. This is why the fundraiser Serving Equity was created. Ms. Miller and her art classes are teaming up with Student Council on a fundraiser that helps students pay for things that financial aid may not cover. Ms. Miller says that projects like these help show off the artistic talents of her students and supports a good cause. So with our fundraiser, what we're doing is we're using our creative and artistic talents to create something for a client. And our clients are teachers, family members, anyone in the community, um, business owners, and they custom make bowls for them. And then um, the proceeds of those bowls are going into scholarships for students. The final products will be given to teachers in early May. If you're interested in projects like this, be sure to talk to your counselor about art classes next year. Seniors, you have about three more weeks of high school left. That means the next chapter of your life is almost here, and if that includes college, it's not too late to get help paying for it. The Michigan Achievement Scholarship is a new financial aid for students attending college in Michigan. And all you have to do to earn that money, fill out your FAFSA. You have until May 1st to get your FAFSA completed and turned in, and just by doing that, you can earn more than $5,000 to help you pay for college, and Ms. Van Overn explains. Apply for the FAFSA. That's the key. Do your FAFSA. And your parents do have to help you with that, but if you also need help, um, Lily Goldberger is our college advisor and she is willing to sit with students and families and do their FAFSA. Individual colleges also have financial aid offices that can help. Remember, those forms are due on May 1st. There's no excuse. Fill out your FAFSA and get some big money. For the class of 2023, our hard work is about to finally pay off when we get our diplomas. It's been a long journey and for some graduating seniors, they received a blast from the past this week. Back when these students were fourth graders at Southwood Elementary School, they wrote letters to their future selves. This week, their former teacher had us pass the letters back to the students to read. For some, it was a shock as they forgot all about the letters. For some, it was even a little emotional. Mrs. K, the teacher that came up with this project, said that seeing her former students grow into adults is a special feeling. Well, it makes me feel old, but other than that, um, I haven't, this is my first class that I'm actually sending back. I'm excited. I'm hoping they do come back for the parade so I can ask them. Seniors, you'll have the chance to reconnect with your former teachers during the senior parade coming up in a few weeks. That does it for your news today, Falcons. Now let's pass it over to Jason Yosifowski for your EK Sports Report. What's up, Falcons? I'm Jason. This is your EK Sports Report. The Falcons softball team hit the field against Mona Shores on Saturday for a doubleheader. They started off the year hot, winning five in a row, had some tough battles and some close games leading up to Saturday. The Falcons battle hard and split the doubleheader, winning one of the two games. Softball hits the road tonight to take on Northview. The Falcon track team took off running on Monday with a rescheduled meet against Grand Haven and Caledonia. The boys and girls team both beat Caledonia and Grand Haven. EK sophomore Malachi Mosley won the 200 meter dash with a time of 23.10. And the freshman female Alana Bracey won the 300 meter hurdles with a time of 48.57. Both these athletes and many more helped bring home the victory for the Falcons. The track team has their first of two home meets today after school, so head over to the Falcons Stadium and cheer on one of the best track and field squads in the country. That's all I got for you today, Falcons. Now let me sauce it back to the desk. Thanks, Jason. Now let's wrap up today's show. I visited some teachers to give them a classic game of Would You Rather. Check it out. Today I'm here with Mr. Warren and today I'm going to be asking him a would you rather question. So would you rather not brush your teeth for a month or not take a shower for a month? Uh, I'd rather not brush my teeth. I can't be going around smelling funky. So <laughs> So today I'm here with Miss Bonnie and I'm going to be asking her a would you rather question. So would you rather be rich or would you rather be famous? Ooh. I think I'd rather be rich. I just, I don't like a lot of attention, you know? I don't want to be the center of everyone's focus. I think I'd rather just spend my money quietly. Yeah. 
How about you? <laughs> How about you, ma'am? I would probably also rather be rich because I'm broke right now. So. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with Mr. Tran. Okay, so would you rather time travel or would you rather be able to teleport? I would rather teleport. Why? So I can travel the world a lot faster. Well, that does it for today's show. I'm Kylie. And I'm Denaya. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Falcon News Networks to get a look at exclusive content. And subscribe to us on YouTube to catch the latest episodes and more every Wednesday and Friday. Have a good week, and we'll see you back here on Friday.